Hey, this is YBR with Beam and G Drive, and today we're going to be taking a look at a mod for the Gravel H series called the H45 Capster Class C RV Upfit, which is the heavy duty variant equipped with a Class C RV Upfit. Okay, that was a little redundant to read aloud, but whatever. So we'll spawn that up, and then in addition to this, we're going to also spawn up the trailer that comes with the game, which is just called Travel Trailer, and we'll replace the pickup truck because we don't need the pickup truck here. And ooh, that's not how that was supposed to go. Okay, we'll teleport this outside of the RV and then we'll reset it just in case it kind of got messed up because it was bouncing all over the place. And what I wanted to do is just take a peek in the inside of this and then take a peek at the inside of the other one because they are very similar. So you look in here, you got like the table, the stove, the sink, cabinets, some lighting, all kinds of things in here. And if we go to the back, we also have a toilet, another sink, and a bathtub. And then if we go to this one, you'll notice it's very, very similar. So it's a really good reuse of the resources in the other trailer in the RV. So similar cabinets, same table setup, same stove, same sinks. There is a new bed over there that wasn't present in the other one. And then here we have the same kind of toilet setup as well. So the interior of this is pretty much on par with the stock vehicles because it does a good job of reusing the parts from the stock vehicles. Now, as for driving, this thing performs good enough. It's an RV. You don't expect it to be a super fast vehicle, but it doesn't have any problems going up a hill or anything like that. Like, this is a pretty steep hill, and it's pulling along at 30 miles per hour, which is more than enough for an RV to be driving. It's actually going a little bit faster than I thought it would. I thought it would just hold at 30. There we go. Now it's dropping down below 30. And what I want to do is just crash this thing up so we can see some parts flying everywhere. And I want to go fast. That's why I went to the top of the hill so we can go down the hill. Some things might fall off as we fly through the air. I'm not sure if it'll be able to stand it. Okay, what's the, that one? How about number two? Oh, it's falling apart. It's gonna probably fall apart real hard right here. Oh, there it goes. Everything is just flying out. And somehow the van is not crashed. There we go, okay. That was actually a pretty cool crash. We got stuff flying every which way. So it crashes very similar to the trailer. When you do crash it, parts go everywhere. Got some parts up here. I think some of them made it all the way down to the water. Just made a huge mess of the place, basically. And it was pretty fun looking at everything, but I think we're done with that now. So let's go ahead and reset this. And now I've just had a really dumb idea. So it was a lot of fun blowing up an RV, right? Well, what if we blew up an RV with a trailer attached to it? Double the debris, double the fun. Makes sense to me. So this time we'll just go straight ahead, which has pretty much just one jump like there's one small jump but I don't think we're gonna be going fast enough for it to really put us into the air let's see what happens on the small one yeah that was barely a jump but the next one we should actually get some air time off it because we're gonna be going about 70 miles per hour and it's a little bit steeper as well so here we go for the jump all right no damage there so we got to give it some damage we're gonna crash this thing up that uh, looks like it's promising. There we go. There goes the trailer and there goes the RV. Just getting debris going everywhere. I've just basically made a huge mess of things. Like we got pieces all the way up here and then all the way back to where the initial crash started. It's going to take a while to clean all this up unless we just hit reset a couple of times, which we will do. So reset that and reset this. And now instead of being a trailer, this will also be an RV. That way we can crash an RV into an RV. And I'm not sure if the colors work or not. So we're going to test that out real quickly by making it red and seeing what that does. Okay, so colors don't do anything here. And what I'm going to do though is I'm going to put this at the bottom of this hill. And we're going to smash into it and make some chaos. It's so like right here it seems pretty much the perfect spot. We can hit it and it'll just push all the debris into the dumps behind us. Make it a little bit straighter though because that was a little bit crooked. There we go. And then we're gonna go back to my other one. We're gonna go up the hill and then we're gonna charge down at them at hopefully nearly a hundred miles per hour. Now it's important the way I said that. I said hopefully and nearly. I wish we could get up to hundred miles per hour, but if I had to actually guess, the guess would be a lot lower. Maybe about 70, 80 miles per hour because this is gonna be bumpy on this thing. And this is not the best vehicle for going over big bumps like that. So now that we're at the top, we'll go ahead and do a quick 180 right here, and whoops! Just barely crashed that thing a little bit. I don't want it to be crashed when I'm going down though, so we'll reset it. And then we'll go ahead and try going down this hill. And there are actually going to be three jumps we have to deal with here. 
So it's not going to be super easy to keep this thing straight. I'm going to have to do some effort here. So there's jump number one. That one wasn't too bad. I expect the next one to be much worse though. There's some air, but we're good. We're good. Last jump. And oh my goodness, I'm completely out of control. But I think we can hit him perfectly. All right. Nice. That was a perfect hit. And we just got pieces flying everywhere from both vehicles, mostly the one I crashed into. Mine's actually a little bit intact. It still has two of the walls, but the interior is gone, basically. That was nice. Stupid thing, get out the way. All right, so let's go ahead and reset both of these vehicles. And now we can do my other stupid idea, which is tearing apart the inside of this thing using the node grabber. So we can flip the table over and then we can pretend we're like a home renovation show, right? And what they always do in home renovation shows, they replace the cabinets, so we rip out these old cabinets and we're going to replace them with new ones or just leave them on the floor. I'm not sure which yet. We can even replace the sink, so we go over here and just yank the sink out. Oh, that's kind of neat. Look at that. The sink even has plumbing on it. Never noticed that. And we'll go to the bed. Oh, this bed's awful. We're going to flip it over. What else can we mess with? The chairs right here. We can yank those around. Oops. That didn't exactly work out. They kind of disappeared on me. Whatever. How about this wall? I want a clear sight, open concept to the bathroom. All right, here's your open concept to the bathroom. Toilet should not go there though. Bathtub should not go there. All right, this place has been fully renovated. Now when you look behind you, it just looks like a pile of junk. I'm curious, will this affect the way it drives? Like with everything just being a pile of junk in there and not mounted to anything, if we go around a corner aggressively, will it push out a wall or is it all just kind of too light to do that? It's like going around this corner, really trying to steer hard didn't look like it did any damage but the contents did shift over to the left you can see it in the window in the back and you also see it because it's sticking out the side now so if a wall was gonna pop out that probably would have done it unfortunately don't think it's gonna happen we'll try going the other direction for a second oh that was close I thought I was about to hit that pole for sure so it looks like yeah that's perfectly safe but if we want things to fall out we could do some jumps and I'm sure it'll fall off with the jumps so we'll get to the top here and then we'll go to the right because last time we went forward so if we go to the right it's a slightly different route so we're gonna get this thing up to 60 miles per hour before the first jump that should be a little bit of air not too much enough to wiggle it and jiggle it this next one though this is the violent one or not we're still good to go okay what about this one it's holding on. Okay, let's not wreck this after all. I was going to wreck it, but now that it's still holding on, I want to keep it alive a little bit longer. Wow. I am really shocked that I did not hit one of the walls harder where it would actually fall apart. Like, I could never do that again. That was actually a pretty good 180 right there, too, if we could have done it in only one attempt. One extra attempt makes it a little less good, but whatever. So let's see if there's anything else we could crash this thing into where we hopefully don't make the whole RV part fall apart. Oh, look at that. It kind of goes back and forth as you drive. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Good news. The RV is still attached. The goal is still alive. What I was trying to say, though, is when you go like back and forth, you see the whole thing shift from side to side. That is absurd looking. Oh, there's a sign. I almost hit the sign. I think I did hit the sign. It just didn't matter. Oh, it shifted a lot to the right because I just smacked the curb up. All right, we gotta find our way back up. This is not a way up, is it? No, that's not even a shortcut or anything. It's just a dead end. So I gotta do a little bit of awkward maneuvering to get out of here. Ah, uh, see, I did so good maneuvering earlier. Now it's just like, how in the world am I supposed to get out of this? I got a wall in front of me and I got a wall behind me. So the only option is a 180. What I gotta do is just find a hill to go back up and then we're gonna do some jumps and see if we can hold up on some more jumps. Because I think the jumps are the most interesting way to make it fall apart in its current state. Hopefully it can actually go up a road. I noticed the engine is starting to get kind of hot. It's smoking. And it's not accelerating like it used to. But it doesn't have to get far. Just up a single hill that cars every day should be able to go up. And we're only going like 25s. So used to be able to go with like 30 through here. So it is a struggle. But it's making it even in its current state of destruction. It is doing just fine. And actually at the top of this, if I'm not mistaken, is the other RV that is in a perfect condition. Like it doesn't have any damage at all because it was the one I just reset a few minutes ago. And I did not realize that this road was so long going up the hill. Okay, so this thing is really overheating, but it made it. And there is the other RV right there in sight. I'm just going to ignore them for now because they are not part of my goal. 
The only thing that's part of my goal is this downhill section right here. We're gonna go as fast as I feel safe. I don't say as I can because I know I'll probably just spin out and crash. I wanna make sure I keep this thing going straight. And it's still holding together. Another one, another one. Nope, there it goes. It is falling apart. It lasted a long time in a terrible state though, that's for sure, even with the interior torn apart. So it didn't seem like that actually affected the way it drives. And there's not much to look at anymore, so let's just go ahead and reset it. And there's one more crash I want to do, and I know exactly where I want to go to do it. We're going to do a can opener crash, and I'm going to basically be tearing off just the roof of this thing while leaving as much as possible intact. And there's a good spot to do this right over at the motel. So we got to swing it and then go fast through here, so like that, and then we floor it. Are we going straight enough? Yes, and we rip the top right off as well as the cabinets. It worked perfect. That was exactly my goal, and I accomplished it. Ha, the toilet somehow stayed attached. Everything is gone but the toilet. So you're driving your buddy somewhere, and he's like, I gotta go to the bathroom. Stop at the rest stop. And you're like, nah, I got a toilet right in the back. Don't fall off. And you make him use it. That'd be evil. Anyways, let's reset this. And I thought of one last dumb thing I want to do. We're going to go on a camping trip. So let's say you live in the city of West Coast USA, but you want to go visit the forest of West Coast USA. So you get your trusty RV, and then because you're crazy, you also attach your old trailer. You know, I just actually realized, though, this trailer is a lot older than the RV. The RV looks pretty modern. This trailer looks pretty dated. But anyways, you have the trailer, then you upgrade it to the RV, but you still have a sentimental attachment to the trailer, so you bring it as well because you don't want it to feel left out. So we'll attach it, and we're just going to go to the forest area of West Coast USA, hopefully without wrecking this thing up. If it gets some dents here and there, that's fine. But I want to make it in one vehicle attempt. Which means I probably should not be cornering like that. Don't tip on me already. All right, we're fine. We're fine. That was all part of the plan. I wanted to ruin the suspension of the trailer. Yes, that is perfectly acceptable. Ooh, I popped open a little bit in the trailer. Hey, look, you can see the pooper. <laughs> That's funny. Like, you can actually see just that. There's nothing else you can see, and I got to stop trying to look because this trailer is all out of control. I think it's because I damaged the suspension. It doesn't want to go straight anymore. This is fine. This is perfectly acceptable. You just gotta drive really fast, that way it doesn't jackknife on you like it was right there. The faster you drive, the less it can jackknife. Well, the faster you accelerate, the less it can jackknife. That's the proper way of saying things. I don't even know where I'm heading, really. I've only tried to get to the top of the mountain. That means we're gonna be driving on a dirt road, which should be... ...interesting? I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but we're gonna try. Now, how do we get to the top of the mountain? Is it through here? I don't know. I'm gonna do the best I can to find my way. I need somebody to show me the way. Uh-oh. Well, that's, uh, not the way that was supposed to go. That trailer was supposed to last all the way. And now it's ruined. On the other hand, the RV is fine. So what we'll do is we'll just replace the trailer. We'll just say, give me a new trailer. Same exact spot. Reattach it. And we continue along. Like nothing ever happened. I'm gonna really pretend nothing ever happened. Yeah, you know, it's like, okay, we had to stop to repair the hole in the back of the trailer, but now we are perfectly fine and ready to go. And we can go up this hill at a decent speed. 30 miles per hour is nothing to sneeze at because you don't want to go too fast on a curvy mountain road. And it looks like this is actually gonna go back down, so this isn't quite the direction I should be going. I'll find the way. Just give me a few minutes and I will find the way. And I will swerve the trailer all over the place. I'm kind of watching the trailer more than I'm watching the RV. And it's scary to watch that thing sometimes. Because it is just kicking out so hard sometimes. You got to keep accelerating because you can't slow down. Because it will kick out like that. Stop kicking out. We got another hole in the back. We got another hole for the toilet. <laughs> and then how the bathtub's going to fall out. I, I know where I am now. We want to go straight here. And then there should be like a dirt road to the left. That we can go up. If I'm not mistaken. I am mistaken. No, wait, no, there's a dirt road. Perfect. So can we take the RV with trailer up a dirt road? Let's find out. Up we go. Popping tires. That's not good, but we're okay. We're still moving. I have no idea how we're going to actually go around these corners because these are tight and we have a trailer attached. 
Well, that actually did a lot better than I expected. It turned in really tight and I actually hit the inside of the corner. I did not expect that at all. All right, so we're good to go then. I don't have to doubt the handling of this thing. I can trust it to just make the corners and go as fast as I want. 25 miles per hour, we're fine. No, we're not. No, we're not. We are not fine. I am not fine. Everything is terribly, terribly okay. We're fine. Fine. I lied. I thought everything was terrible, but it's not. Because we can keep driving. As long as we can keep driving, we can do good. This is a tight corner again, and I'm kind of pulling to the opposite direction. Oh, no! Okay, maneuvering. Maneuvering is key. Alright, we made it. Up to the top, this is where I wanted to go, and we're going to try to just drive off the edge to finish things up, so till next time, this has been YBR, I'll let you watch this one, and I'll see ya.